Hey guys, this is Photon 2, an all new IoT development board from Particle. This tiny board has some really impressive specs and features that I'll show you in this video. Not only that, but we'll also try to create a project using this board. So let's get started. Photon 2 comes in this box packaging. I have already unboxed it and this is how it looks right out of the box. At first glance, you can see it's about the size of Nord MCU, but it has much more to offer. The Photon 2 sports Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5GHz, Bluetooth 5.0 and comes with much larger RAM and flash memory that can support larger applications. Talking about the CPU, it has a 200MHz Cortex-M33, 3MB of RAM and 2MB of flash file system. It uses the Adafruit Feather form factor and it is compatible with Feather Wings and other modules that uses Adafruit Feather specifications. This Photon 2 has all the benefits of the Particle.io service, including Cloud API, OT updating capabilities, an online IDE, as well as API, CLI and much more. Particle OTA allows you to update your entire IoT device, both the particle device and any other components over the air. Here you can update the device firmware or fix bugs without the need for manual intervention. Now let's create a project using this board. I'm going to build a straightforward home automation project, a water tank level monitoring system. This system will monitor the water level of the tank and automatically control the water pump. You can monitor the system from your phone or computer. To create this project, you will need a Photon 2, a blank PCB, 5 volt relays, few NPN transistors and some connectors. Now let's follow the circuit diagram for connection. Ok guys, so our project is nearly complete, but before we delve into the coding, let me clarify the circuit board. It runs on 12V DC, here I am using a volt regulator IC to convert the 12V to 5V. Next we have two relays, one for automatic on off and other for manual operation. Then we have four transistor for each level percentage. The first one for 25%, then 50%, 75% and 100%. Finally we have the main board, which is Photon 2. Now let's move on to the coding. We need to remove the Photon 2 from the board to set it up for the very first time. You can connect it to your PC using a micro USB cable. After connecting it to your computer, open your preferred browser. You can use Chrome or Edge. I am using Microsoft Edge. Now go to setup.particle.io. Here you will need to create an account. I already have one so I will simply log in. Click on Get Started, ensure that the Photon 2 is connected to the PC. Click on Select Devices and you will see the Photon 2 is successfully paired with the PC. Choose the device and click on Connect. Your device will go into the DFU mode to update the device OS. Click on Update Device and it will take 1-2 to two minutes to complete. After the update is done, click on Select Product and choose Photon 2. Then click on Add Products. Here you need to name your device, you can give it any name you prefer. Now you have to connect your device to your Wi-Fi network. Simply select your network, add the password and click on activate device. Now your device is successfully activated. You won't need to connect this device to your computer ever again. You can flash it over the air as long it's connected to your Wi-Fi network. I have developed this code using particle and blink webhooks. But I won't go into coding details in this video. I am using Blink because I want to monitor everything from my phone. If you like, I can create a separate video on coding. Let me know in the comments. After completing the code, I simply flash it using Particle Workbench. You can use Particle Online IDE if you want to. Ok, now that the coding is complete, let's put the Photon 2 in its place. To give it a more polished look, I have designed this simple enclosure which I 3D printed.
Now the circuit board can be securely attached with four screws. I have also added an acrylic piece on the top. And there you have it, our project is complete. Now let's connect all the necessary wires to test it out. Please note that this is just a test, I will show a brief example at the end. Here we need some water and I have installed blink on my phone to monitor everything. Right now it's showing 0% as default. As I dip the first two wires into the water, it will change the status to 25%. If I dip the third wire as well, it goes to 50% and so on with the other wires. Ok, so here I have designed this thing on my 3D printer and glued the wires on it in this manner. Then I connected it to the board. And this is I specifically designed for this glass container. Then I connected a 12 volt motor as a water pump and set up everything. As I connected the power, you will see the motor start spinning. It's because the water level is below 25%. It will automatically stop when the water level reaches 100%. Now let's start pouring the water into the container. So as it reaches 25%, you can see it on the phone as well. Now it's about to 50% and you can see it on the phone. Finally it's about to reach 100% and the motor should stop. As it reaches 100% and there we go, it works as we designed. You can turn on the water motor manually if you want to. Now that was just a simple example. You can make it more interesting like you can monitor the water quality as by adding some water quality sensors. For example TDA sensor. Anyway I hope you like this project. This was just a simple project but you can do much more advanced things with this board like machine learning projects, asset tracking and advanced IoT projects. That's pretty much for this video, if you wanna know more about this board, I have provided the links in the description, make sure to check it out. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about it. Subscribe to this channel for more upcoming videos, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.